governments have been marginalised. Governments are no longer important to these processes. And it's all been decided by the invisible hand, by the market. And the result is social backlashes. And the result is greater protectionism. The result is a reaction. The result is the rise of fascism. And the problem with the rise of fascism, and we saw 60,000 fascists marking, m marching through the streets of Warsaw at the weekend, is that that builds the kind of walls which make new technology impossible, that makes change impossible, and that takes us backwards. And so I think those who are utopian about the dreams of technology, those who are utopian about having a workless workforce, about having a society with no work and the machines doing it all, are ignoring, you know, proper old basic politics and that is the problem people need to work to have meaning in their lives and if we deprive them of work and we know for example that in Africa there's very huge numbers of unemployment and there's also a birth rate which is very very high those people are going to move and they're going to move in ways that will be very unsettling both for their own cultures but for other cultures because unemployment forces you into moving if you have no choice to, uh, and no other way to find uh, to make a living. Yeah, so well, let me be very clear. I'm not advocating and I'm not utopian about a society of no work as, as, as Keynes was, for example. I believe technology creates more work, more jobs. Again, given the technology of the last 250 years, there's more work today, more meaningful work, more high paying work, more satisfying well, work today that, than there to ever the was. In, in a, well, but Africans or don't have Middle work. East. Africans in the Middle East don't have work because they have only internal problems, because they don't respect property rights, they have not adopted the invisible hand, they have not adopted markets. When African societies do indeed adopt private property and, and the elements of capitalism, they create work just, just as China never used to have work, and today they employ a billion people. India China's had problems always with had work. work. That's not the true. They were subsistence no, farmers, no, no, no. and they were starving in the farms. But what do you 60 do? 60 million people starved in farming uh, during the 1960s. Okay. We can pretend that didn't exist, but that was before technology, a, a, a freedom, and technology was allowed, private property was allowed, which creates jobs. And that's what Africa needs desperately. If you don't want them to immigrate, then let's bring the ideas that made uh, uh, you know, advanced society possible in the West. Let's bring those ideas to Africa. That would solve the African problem. What would you say?